service of CNC Worldwide. CNC Podcasts are a service of CNC Worldwide, and they're brought to you by the Greece Chamber of Commerce, providing more than 800 member companies with business solutions since 1984. Rochester psychiatrist William Lewick was in court Thursday afternoon as his attorney argued that his case should be moved to drug court. Lawyer Matthew Perinello says Lewick's case should be moved to the Judicial Diversion Program to get his client into drug treatment. Lewick is charged with drug possession, but also with evidence tampering for hiding the body of Matthew Stratton in his backyard. Prosecutor Kelly Wolford opposes drug diversion, which could reduce the charges to a misdemeanor. She says Lewick's crimes don't fit the intent of the diversion program and should be handled in criminal court. The judge will now have to decide if Lewick qualifies for the program. Rochester Mayor Lovely Warren spent Wednesday night and Thursday in the hospital with the flu. Spokeswoman Chris Christopher says the mayor was out sick for several days this week, then felt worse Wednesday night. Her husband called the ambulance, and she was taken to Strong Memorial Hospital. Christopher says doctors treated the mayor for dehydration. They say she has the influenza B that's going around. A driver who turned left in front of a motorcycle triggered a crash in Penfield that sent a man to Strong Memorial Hospital. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office says the accident happened Thursday evening at the corner of Plank Road and Creek Street. The car turned left onto Plank Road directly in front of the motorcycle, ridden by Brian Dominiak. When Dominiak saw he couldn't avoid the crash, he laid the bike on its side and slid into the passenger side of the car. He was seriously injured. The driver of the car has been ticketed for failure to yield right of way. The driver's name has not been released. An NFL-funded study led by a Rochester doctor indicates the offseason may not be enough time for football players to recover from all the hits they take during the season. Dr. Jeffrey Bazarian, professor of emergency medicine at the University of Rochester School of Medicine and Dentistry, was the lead author of the study. He looked at the brains of 10 U of R football players before the start of the 2011 season, at the conclusion of the season, and after six months off. All wore an accelerometer to measure the impacts on their heads. All took part in daily practices and weekly games. Imaging scans showed changes consistent with mild brain injury in about half the players six months after the session ended. Bazarian found changes in the players' brains from a control group after as few as 10 or 15 head impacts, none of them coming up to concussion level. A follow-up project is already underway. Rochester police are looking for two men who forced their way into a house on Galusha Street and assaulted three men inside before stealing various items. No weapons were involved. None of the injuries are life-threatening. The town of Henrietta is moving to issue property tax rebates to about 10,000 residents. A report from the state comptroller recently found the town had overtaxed residents and built up too big of a surplus. The town board has voted to refund about $1 million dollars Each taxpayer owed will get a check for $100, and that's if the state legislature approves the rebates. Schedule and route changes are coming, which mean RTS bus riders will no longer be able to ride through downtown without changing buses. The changes are coming in November when the new downtown transit center opens. The Rochester Genesee Regional Transportation Authority held the first of several information sessions on the changes Thursday. A major change will be elimination of what the authority calls through routing. Right now you can pay your dollar and you can ride any of the buses through downtown if your stop is on the other side, but routes will begin and end at the transit center once it opens. That means everyone will have to get off downtown and change buses and they'll have to pay another dollar in the process or use a multi-ride pass. The state labor department says the Rochester region added about 2,900 private sector jobs between last March and this March. The state says Rochester's job growth rate is 0.7 percent. Statewide, the job count held steady. No loss of total jobs, but no gain either. A little more than 7.5 million New Yorkers are now holding down a non-government job. And an Arundaquoit landowner is in conflict with the town after cutting down 200 trees in an environmentally sensitive area. 88-year-old Al Gilbert, the owner of Voyager Boat Sales, got impatient over how long it was taking to sell his land to the proposed Lighthouse Point development on the Genesee River. He decided cleaning up the property would get things moving, and he started by clear-cutting the trees. But the riverfront land is a high-erosion area. It's covered by an environmental protection district. It requires town approval before any alterations can be made to the landscape. 
and Gilbert also angered his neighbors. They liked having the trees as a buffer between their homes and the O'Rourke Bridge. The Arundaquoit Planning Board has ordered Gilbert to take steps to prevent erosion. He's done that. Now they want him to come up with a plan for restoring the land to its original condition. Your next CNC podcast is whenever you click on one of our pages and catch one. We post updates during the day. I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.